to the channel. Glad to have you in the house tonight. And we're basically talking about three people. Jermaine Dupree, Bow Wow, and Baby Brett. The call her in Atlanta. Where it seems like everybody's just getting into it. Uh on social media. Trying to claim uh claim their what we call it. Claim their name to fame or something to the deal. Uh, you know, we had <coughs> Master P <coughs> and his son, um, Romeo, going at it. And now we got DeBrett, Jer uh, Jermaine DeBrett, and Bow Wow going at it. We know Brett going to ride hard for uh, Jermaine DeBrett because uh, he started her career. And, I mean, he just finds him uh, like a dad or something. That's what I'm thinking, you know looks to him, she reveres him as somebody that will protect her at any cost. But honey, only the Lord can do that. Only the Lord, not man, not mere man, honey, but if you believe that, go ahead. Uh, you do you. But I was like, when Brett came out talking shit, when he was talking shit on that, um, on her platform, or you know, on her phone, or whatever, her uh, channel, Going after baby Bow Wow like that, I'm like, girl, have you seen Bow Wow? The boy is huge, and if you wanted to pack a punch, girl, you are made with women parts, not men parts. You may act masculine, but child, please, I'm gonna give it up to the shave room for bringing out their article. I didn't get it from there. I went to um, TMZ, you know. That's the go to place if you want to have something right there, quick, fast, in a hurry. Uh, go to TMZ, or you can go to the Jasmine brand, she's more good on what she does as far as breaking uh, news out, being exclusive. Um, but yeah, let's get back to talking about my wife. Like, everybody must be needing money or something because he and everybody's trying to do this and that. Trying to sue here and there, and still maintain that they did nothing wrong. Okay, well let's get into what TMZ had reported. It says Bow Wow's last laugh in Jermaine Dupree's beef with his one of six and part three agent. A former BET president of programming, Stephen G. Hill, inserted himself in Bow Wow and Jermaine Dupree's feud on one of six and part. And sorry, J.D., the survey says you're going to need more backup, okay? Steven, who created the Fame music series in 2000, scoffed Monday morning at J.D.'s I Started 106 in Park claims in a tweet shared by Bow Wow. J.D. kicked off a war word for Bow Wow following a, pad, a podcast interview where he claimed he started 106 in Park for Bow Wow to come back in an era where black artists weren't being showcased wasn't being shown, um, you know, like the other white artists were, like when they had TRL or um, MTV and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, uh, Brett, okay, that's when she brought herself into the pitch, inserted herself, because uh, she felt that uh, Bauer was being totally disrespectful. Uh, she's, you know, because she really said, well, don't bite the hand that feeds you. I don't like her thing. Okay, Brett. Uh, you already got a charge on you, a case that you paying monthly on um, that you hit a girl in the head with a bottle of wine. So we need you to stay out of any type of physical altercation because then you'll blow your job away that Rick Smiley got you on uh, after nobody would probably hire you in the business. Okay, so you need to cool down. I wouldn't even have inserted myself into the beef that Bow Wow was having with Jermaine Dupree. 
it's them, not you, baby. It's them. It's men trying to go against men, not throwing a man, a woman man, trying to make like she's a man. You can't tell the role. You can't tell the whole girl. You ain't built in those shoes as a man. But anyway, we go back to the article. It says the brat who made history with JD and so so Dev as the first female rapper to go platinum. Good about wow. Uh, for essential essentially biting the hand that fed him. But Steven clapped back seemingly puts Bow Wow totally in the right. Bow Wow went on to claim no one in JD's camp had his number, but he and the brat ironed things out over the phone. The ex so so deaf collaborators have been bickering for some time now and Bow Wow has been telling the public that Snoop Dogg okay is responsible for the bulk of his success. We're guessing JD will respond, but for now, Bow Wow is dumping on him like Mike. Okay, and we're getting a little, um, little audio that I had of the situation on Jermaine Dupree calling himself doing what he needs to do. Let's listen to it. 106 and Park was created by me. I created the show for Bow Wow. I was watching MTV, and MTV had TRL. And it was catering to NSYNC, and it was catering to Backstreet Boys, and anything white that was coming out that was pop, it was allowed when these kids scream and holler at them. And I'm like, yo, we, we don't have nothing for black people. Like, where's the black kids that love music? Oh, they have a show like this. So I called Stephen Hill, and I say, yo, I got an artist. We need to make a show just like uh, T.R.L. He said, what's the artist? And I said, his name is Bow Wow. Of course, he was like, bro, you know, everybody challenges what I'm saying. Mind you, they wasn't going to put Bow Wow on TRL like that because he was a rapper. He was a black little young boy rapping, but he also was 12 years old. Nobody on TV was 12 years old anywhere creating this type of pandemonium, right? I went to Stephen Hill, and I'm like, yo, we need this show. We need this show. We need a show on BET that shows black artists like that. And there you have it. Um, but like I said, on the flip side, you got Bow Wow. Uh, teaming up with Stephen Hill, who says he actually put 106 in part on the map. So I don't know if it's a, you know, he say, she say thing, uh, or Jermaine Dupri is feeling some kind of way. He's in his feelings, and he wanted more credit to um, creating this so-called uh, platform for more younger black artists, whether they're rappers, singers, or, you know, any type of uh, thing in the entertainment business that um, they can be showcased on that show, which is one of the part. And technically, that was like a teeny bopper type show. I had watched it, you know, early in uh, my 20s, uh, pitching it here and there. And, um, yeah, it was a show for, like, teenagers, like 14 through 18. And, you know, you had the young artists that were out there coming in and performing on the show. And if you really got a real good treat, you got some older artists to come in and perform. And, you know, let, let us know what they're doing in their uh, daily comings and goings. And are they still putting out music or are they developing other artists or you know, things of that nature. So basically, we don't know. We don't know if the war has subsided. We don't know if Bow Wow will come out with some other accusation. Uh, we don't know if uh, clear heads have prevailed with Jermaine Dupri uh, and the brat. Bow Wow is saying in his comments uh, section that him and the brat have ironed things out. You know, she had a right to say what she had to say. She was defending her, from what I see, her dad, her uh uh, adopted dad that she brought into her family, or he could be seen as a brother, I don't know, I'm thinking more daddish, but, uh, you know, um, he said that, you know, she had every right to go after him, um, with why he's trying to jump on somebody that actually put him on and disrespected him that way and all that, a lot, you know, I think Brett should have stayed out of it because it was clearly said and done for us in our entertainment pleasure that Jermaine Dupri actually did not come um, with that idea. Uh, so it's, you know, it's uh, what we call a war of words. And it says who is the most convincing one that tells the tale, okay? 
So that's all I got for this particular article and uh, video, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you, and make sure you subscribe. Bye.